The 23-foot-tall, 8.5-ton Golden Pioneer, which adorns the Capitol Dome, is a symbol of Oregon's pioneering spirit. In 1938, a New York architect by the name of Francis Keeley was commissioned to design Oregon's third state capital after the second one was lost to a fire. Keeley commissioned a New Jersey artist, Ulrich Ellerhusen, to sculpt and cast a monument for the new Capitol building. At his workshop in New Jersey, Ellerhusen sculpted five models out of plaster before settling on the design we see today. Due to the nature and size of this project, Ellerhusen had special doors put in his workshop. His friend Aileen Eveleth Hammond described it this way. It was a very large uh, piece of sculpture and he had to have a door built in his studio to, so he could roll it outside and see it in the daylight because he knew that that pioneer was going to stand on your capital in the sunshine and he wanted to make sure that it was a beautiful piece. Ulrich Ellerhusen, a German-born sculptor who studied at the Art Institute of Chicago, is also known for accomplishments that include ornamental designs that adorn the outside of the Louisiana State Capitol, weeping figures on the colonnade of the San Francisco Palace of Fine Arts, additions to the tympanum over the entrance of the Oriental Institute in Chicago. When finished, the final Golden Pioneer was sculpted of bronze. After work was completed in 1938, the Golden Pioneer was loaded on a steamship and traveled via the Panama Canal to Oregon. Upon arriving in Oregon, the Golden Pioneer was loaded on a flatbed truck and transported to the new state capital. There were a whole bunch of us, and uh, there, uh, my older cousin was much more adventuresome, and uh, he was even uh, when they weren't looking, and it was off the truck, but on the ground, uh, he was even uh, climbing up into it. Times were more relaxed back then, and people weren't so worried about lawsuits, and <laughs> kids could get into a lot more trouble. In an era before helicopters and hydraulic cranes, workers spent three days using a makeshift wooden crane, pulleys, and muscle to hoist the Golden Pioneer 160 feet to his perch on the Capitol Dome. Workers then constructed a plastic cocoon around the statue so that the gold leaf covering could be applied. When gold leaf is added, this is called gilding, and was used to cover the bronze, which keeps it from tarnishing. This allows for easier cleaning in the future. The cocoon prevented the fine leaf from being damaged during its application. Every 20 to 25 years, the Golden Pioneer has been regilded to repair damage brought on by years of oxidation and weather. With the cost of regilding escalating over the years, funds have relied mostly on private donations and community fundraising. In 1984, Oregon school children raised more than $37,000 in coins, mostly dimes, which cover the cost of regilding the statue. Once again, workers erected scaffolding in a cocoon around the statue, this time with the help of modern equipment. Pioneer statue. He actually completely broke free and rotated up on its pedestal. It had a complete sheer crack all the way around. When the pedestal had fractured, we came back in and 
decided that we needed to reattach the brick together and the marble, so we epoxy injected the joints and put in some large diameter steel rods. Put, basically put everything back into compression. During our seismic retrofit, we were able to remove the large diameter stainless steel bolts that we had installed after the Scotts Mills earthquake. Replace those with a reinforced pneumatically placed concrete wall, tied the brick together with the marble, and then was able to reattach the Oregon Pioneer uh, to these reinforced concrete walls, something that originally had been omitted from the original 1937 drawings. In 2000, the state capitol was in the process of being recalked due to leakage in the exterior marble. During the process, it was determined the Golden Pioneer was very oxidized and corroded. A scaffolding was put around him to determine the advanced state of damage. Upon inspection, it was decided to regild again. This magnificent monument that graces the top of the Oregon State Capitol building reflects the courage and pioneering spirit of Oregonians. Uh, he's symbolic of the pioneers that came to Oregon originally. I mean, he faces north, but his head is looking west. It's the, that's what the pioneers were doing when they came out here. They were headed west. And you're coming to Salem, you can look up and you see the gold man on a sunny day especially, and you know that's where the capital is. You know that's where you're going.